I'm Dr. Steven Chigaris, board certified general laparoscopic robotic and breast surgeon. We're talking about lung scans today with respect to coronavirus specifically. Um, the coronavirus has been shown to be very lethal to a subset of patients. Uh, what happens is that coronavirus is ingested into the mouth or nose, it goes down into the back of the throat, and then is breathed into the lungs themselves. Uh, now, the lungs are made of millions of little air sacs called alveoli, and the virus gets into these little air sacs and adheres to the inner lining. That lining is what allows the interface between the blood and the air, and the CO2 from the blood is given out, the oxygen from the air is given into the blood, and in doing so, that's how we breathe in oxygen and blow out CO2. When the virus gets in there and coats that surface, everyone creates a reaction. One is an antibody reaction, which is an immune response. However, the other thing that happens is a physical inflammatory response. The body wants to go in and kill the virus. It senses it's there, it sends in cells, and most people, it can send the proper amount of army in, so to speak, uh, and kill the virus without knocking out the landscape around it, so to speak. But in a small percentage of patients, the body's internal reaction causes too much inflammation. And then that causes a large fluid um, bolus or fluid filling up of the lungs. And then that stops the ability for oxygen and carbon dioxide to be able to fuse through those air sacs. Now, how do we see that? One of the problems is that often normal chest x-rays are going to miss this because radiation itself will go through the lung tissue and the fluid and it may not show anything too specific. Um, and then a CAT scan may show something totally different where you can see how both lungs are all inflamed and have fluid in them. Um, the newest thought is the lung scan using ultrasound. Uh, Dr. Bard's system is used in tandem with, instead of replacement of, uh, any other radiologic testing. And the concept is, put as much together as you can to help treat the patients as best as possible. So although chest x-rays are used and CAT scans are used, CAT scans have a lot of radiation to them. The field trips down to radiology are no fun at all. Ultrasound is very portable. It can be used at the bedside or in any kind of radiologic facility. Outpatients can come in and get lung scans and leave where you come in from your car, right to an exam room, get the ultrasound examination and go home. Uh, the use at the bedside in the ICU, I see as a huge potential. Being able to bring in a portable unit to the patient's room would really be a much safer way to monitor patients.